My name is Tony Arico. I'm a performer, a visual artist, uh, also a dancer. I am at the Keck Center at the National Academy of Sciences. I, I was invited to present and uh, commissioned to share a piece of artwork. Eight circles, uh, it's called uh, Penwald. One of, it's one of my Penwald drawings from a series that I'm uh, continuing to develop right now. This is my first uh, solo project uh, at this scale. Um, very excited to be here. I spent some time in the Great Hall, uh, which is also another building, part of the uh, National Academy of Sciences, and um, looked at the different medallions of the eight different sciences, looked for patterns that I could repeat, and uh, usually I perform this, I overlay my separate patterns. Uh, so each circle looks the same, but in this case, uh, like, like the Great Hall, uh, each one is uniquely different. I'll take a moment to go around the circle. I started north, uh, matched the north direction in the Great Hall with the north direction in this uh, center, this atrium. Uh, started with anthropology, which uh, there were several different heads, the head of Caesar and two skulls, and um, I thought about my actual first uh, my first drawing was really just the arm span uh, of my arms, left and right. And uh, I used that thinking about my head inside of the circled action medallion that anthropology had. So that was my first one, and that's the one I was most comfortable with <laughs> because it was most familiar to me. Uh, after that I went to, uh, once to the right, a trilobite fossil. Basically just tracing the contour of my head and my torso. Uh, it's a really beautiful design. I believe it was the medallion to the lower left that has, it even had like a spine, so uh, that caught my attention. And then rolled once to the right. See, that was geology. Once to the right was the scale, um, chemistry. So just uh, balancing, uh, split to two sides. Uh, after that was my favorite. It had the most, I think, harmonious rhythm to it. That was uh, infinity symbols for um, astronomy. Then uh, once to the right. Gosh, this was uh, the magnet for physics. After that, um, triangle for mathematics. Pea pods, botany. Starfish for zoology. And that completes the circle. There's music in it. not on purpose, but then I'm aware of it and I even feel like I might access, accent it. Um, well, it helps me survive it too, the music, like inside of it. Uh, I hear, especially this, it was most uh, prevalent in this because the shape, the forms were so different. I'm applying very simple compositional tools, uh, repetition, bilateral unison, 
um, locomotion and displacement and just working with it within these tools and seeing what kind of design I can uncover. Well, I leave uh, interpretations up to the viewer. For me, this process is about uh, exploration. It's been, it's it derived from improvisation. And uh, people have seen images of the Vitruvian Man, and I think that being in a science institution right now, that, that's an exciting uh, comparison for people. And uh, I have a deep appreciation for uh, design in nature and composition in nature and how, the, how that happens quite accidentally. And, and this discovery was very accidental for me. Very, very curious about my own personal limits. Uh, I think it's exciting for an audience too. I do want to say that the process is, um, I call it a performed process because I want to share it. Uh, I try to keep it as informal as, po as possible. Um, but I do want my audience to respect the final product of the work. And so I want to continue to think of what I'm sharing here as process and that the product is just the final condition of that process.